Hi, my name is Max and this is the LaTeX Beginners course. In the last video we created our first document with LaTeX and if you take a look at it, I think it looks quite nice, uh, so we can count this as a first success. But there are certain things we cannot do until now with LaTeX. Um, in fact, we cannot use most of the features LaTeX gives us until now. So today I want to take a big step in the direction of mastering LaTeX. And in order to do this, I want to talk about commands and environments. And this is really basic stuff because, especially environments, nothing we will discuss later will work without environments. So, yeah, let's dig into it. I want to start with commands. So, commands aren't quite new to us. We used them in the last video already. Basically, anything that is introduced with a backslash is a command. So, for example, begin, uh, make title, section, uh, yeah, and also this double backslash is a command. It's just a new line command. Um, so you see, commands can do nearly anything you want, and I'm going to give you a ton of examples on that. Um, but what I want to do now is uh, I want to give you some basic text editing, editing commands. Because from Word, you might be used to really easy and fast text editing. And I want to show you that with LaTeX, it's just as easy and fast if you know the right command. So let's say we want to display a word bold. Um, we can just copy this word and then have to insert the command for bold text, which is backslash text bf. Yeah, text maker already suggested. Uh, inside the braces, we just put the word, um, which I can just paste in. And when we compile now, yeah. The word dollar now is bold. Uh, same goes for emphasized text, just uh, copy a different word and then the command for emphasized text is emph. Yeah, so now we can paste it in, compile and now this word is emphasized. Wonderful. Now we want to change the font size. So in Word, for example, you can say you want this text in 11 point and then here a word in 20 point, then 11 point again. This doesn't work in LaTeX exactly this way. Um, in LaTeX, we have our standard font size, which you can determine in the preamble. And then we have relative changes of this standard font size, which we can determine with commands. So first, let's look at our standard font size. Um, I think it's normally around 11 point. Um, you can change it uh, in the, the options of the document class. So we can say 11 point, then compile. Okay, I think nothing has changed. And then let's try 12 point. Yeah, I think that's big enough. Good, now we can work on this. In order to change the relative font size, we have certain commands. The whole list of them, you can look it up in the internet. We will, all, we will also give you a link in the description below. Um, I only include certain uh, certain font sizes here. Um, so for example, tiny, will, which will produce the tiniest text, uh, and then small, large, large with a capital L, uh, large completely capital will or uh, will be even bigger than huge. There is also a huge with a capital H, but I didn't include that. And of course, normal size to give you a comparison. And then compile. And yeah, we see here now we have different font sizes. Um, I think in most cases they will be not much of a use because. Um, in a normal text, you won't change your font size uh, <laughs> um, only for headlines, but this is done automatically, so you don't need to do that. Um, the the most important uh, application for changing the font size, I think, is if you want to design your own title page. So not uh, automatically produced title, but a personal title page. Um, there you will need them, otherwise they won't be much use, I think. Another feature of these commands is that you can combine them easily. So for example, 
um, I'm using an, uh, a new command here, which is text sc. And what this does, um, it sets, I'm just using section one here uh, again, it sets the text into small caps. So here, section one is in small caps, but then uh, we decide we want it in small caps and we want it bold as well. So we just include in, inside the text sc command text bf. And now we can include the word section one. And what it does, it makes the word bold and then it makes it uh, into small caps. So yeah, um, you can combine these commands just as easy. The next step is to take these commands and create environments with them. So uh, we have already used an environment here in this document, which is the document environment in fact. Um, so you can see environments always begin with a begin command and end with an end command. Um, but we can, uh, can only have a document environment. We can have an environment nearly with all our commands. Um, for example, I'm having this paragraph here and I want to display it in small font size. So of course uh, I can uh, just um, create a command small and then include the whole paragraph in, in this braces. But yeah, this uh, doesn't look very good. We can instead begin um, small and then Lady already suggested we uh, need an and small. So this is just an environment where ev everything in between is set in the relative size small. And now we can include the paragraph and compile. And yeah, you can see it here. We have a normal text, uh, a paragraph in normal font size. And here it is in small font size. Another environment which I think is quite useful in LaTeX is the center flush left or flush right environment. With that you can of course determine the horizontal position of a text element. Um, so let's just try it out for these. Um, for these large uh, within capital L section one. We can say be begin and then center and then include it. And now everything still is to the left but section one with capital large um, is now centered. And we can say also we want it we want it flush left and then include it. Uh, and now yeah, it's, it's really completely flush to the left, not like the other ones a bit indented, but completely flush to the left side. But environments can do far more than that. With them we can introduce equations, figures, uh, tables and so on. So basically an environment denotes a new semantic section of the text. It can introduce new commands and of course, as we saw here, it can change the style of its contents. So let's say you have a list of items and you want them properly listed in your document. You have a few options for that. Um, let's start with the enumeration method. So we can begin a new uh, environment, which is the enumerate environment. And then we have a few items. Let's say item. So each item is introduced with the command item, then an empty space. And then let's say the offense and then I have two more items defense and special teams and when we compile now we see that here we have a list of items first the offense second the defense and third the special teams there is another method for our items which is the itemization so the um, environment is the itemize environment and then again backslash item space and then let's say uh, run rogers and then three more items um, compile and you can see these items are now dis displayed with a dot in front of them um a good thing about these itemizations is that you can combine them so let's say these four items belong to point one 
the offense. So just begin after the first item of an enumeration, uh, the itemization. And then the enumeration continues after the itemization is finished. And now, yeah, these four items are part of the first point of our enumeration. Now I prepared an additional itemization just to show you that you can combine them with itself. So uh, I began here an itemization with linebackers and then secondary. And then after linebackers, a new itemization with three items and the same thing after the secondary. So when we compile, uh, we can see yeah, that our linebackers have uh, here, uh, linebackers and secondary have our dots and then the new uh, itemizations um, uh, of three members of the linebackers and uh, three uh, members of the secondary, uh, they have dashes and not dots. So yeah, this uh, numeration and itemization tools work really brilliant in LaTeX. There's also a third method to list your items if you don't want them enumerated and you don't want um, a dot uh, or, or, a def or a dash in front of them you can use the a description environment so begin description and then just like the others item and then let's say coaching stuff and then two other ones when we compile we see yeah now we have a description of these items we don't have them enumerated and we don't have a dot or a dash in front of them we're almost finished with this video. The last thing I want to show you is really awesome. I want to show you how to create your own command in LaTeX. So a thing you might probably uh, encounter is that you have a relatively long word. You have to write it down frequently. Um, so what you can do is you can define an abbreviation for this word. And every time you write the abbreviation, LaTeX will automatically create the, the whole word. So the command for this is new command. And you have to do this after the begin of your document uh, and then backslash new command. And you can already see we have two braces here, two pairs of braces. Um, in the second one, we put in a word. So maybe uh, we are talking about the National Football League and we want it uh, expressed in, um, in bold letters. So let's take um, the command text bf and then national football league okay and now in the first pair of braces the abbreviation so we have to um, put um, a backslash in front of it and then let's say nfl so every time we write down nfl latex will automatically insert national football league um, so let's do this after subsection one, maybe here NFL, and then after subject subsection sub subsection two one, maybe NFL, and here at the beginning of line stuff nfl and as the last item NFL. good let's compile and yeah here it is and we also have it here and here and here fine and this is not only a funny thing that might save you a bit of time. In fact, I think it's really helpful because there are words out there, and this might be a bad example, but there are words out there that you want to write emphasized every time. Um, so if you forget to write it emphasized at one time, you have to search for the error. And, and with this command, you don't make this error. It basically in eliminates it. And even better, if at one point you decide you don't want to write it emphasized anymore, then you can just go back here and delete this. Um, and then everything will change. And you don't have to search every single time you wrote it 
um, to change the settings. So yeah, I think this is really helpful. Now, that's it for this video. Let's look at what we did today. We used commands uh, in order to, uh, to make text bold or to emphasize it. We changed the font size, we combined commands, and then we used uh, environments in order to center text or to flush left text and to change the font size of an entire paragraph. Then we created a list of items with the enumeration and the itemization tools and of course the description tools. And we combined these, um, these tools and then we created our first own command. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video we are going to talk about mathematical expressions, um, which will be very interesting and it will also build on the knowledge we gained today about environments. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching.